Welcome back to another Matty Ice Reviews. And tonight we will continue our ongoing look at As Seen on TV products. Tonight's As Seen on TV product is Huraclean. We can see that package there. Huraclean is a cleaner for a toilet. They claim that by using this product, all you have to do is open up the top of your tank, dump in the packet, it's gonna foam up, it's gonna clean all of the debris that's in your toilet, and then the foaming action supposedly removes all the buildup deposits, the bacteria, the mold, the mildew, everything that's growing in that tank because the water just sits in there. You really don't ever clean inside the tank unless you get like a little pod and you throw it in there every month. You've seen the ones from Clorox and Lysol and other brands. And it also claims to remove hard water stains, mineral deposits, and then as it goes through your tank, it's supposed to be flushed and to help remove a buildup that is in your little jets that go around your toilet that the water flows through as it flushes. And it's supposed to also help get rid of anything that's been built up in the actual bowl, which if you've got hard water stains on the toilet, you know exactly how hard those can be to get out. Scrubbing sometimes isn't enough and you really have to get something to, you know, scour at them. Also let you know on here that there's no harsh chemicals, so you're not porting down, you know, like something that's extremely harsh that might ruin your pipes. And it's also safe for septic systems and it's not going to degrade the plastic in the tank or any of the metals or the ceramic that's in there. And it's this guy right here on the box. Oh yeah, look at this dude right here. He's the inventor, Johnny V. He's a plumber. How cool. So let's, uh, you know, I've got two toilets in my household. The one upstairs, I keep pretty clean. I think uh, it'll be interesting to see how that one does. But the one in my basement, it doesn't get used at all and it is gross. It's got some serious hard water stains on it because we never just go down there to use there, use it, and the water just sits in there, and you can see where it slowly runs down. It, it's left some nasty stains, so let's go try this on our toilet upstairs first, and then we'll try the one downstairs. All right, so that should give you guys a pretty good idea of what's gonna happen when I dump this in here. They do say on these, if you read the little packet, one packet for first use, you sprinkle in slowly, don't dump it, don't, you know, psh, and then you have to allow it to work for six hours before flushing. And you might need to use two packets if it's a heavy, you know, like build up, I guess. Like the one downstairs is probably gonna need the two packets. And then um, you know, after that, you just, I guess, flush it. And then they even have a little, you know, other instructions on here. Pour it in, let it sit for six hours, and then flush. Cool. All right, so I'm tearing it open right now, and then I'm gonna start sprinkling in, and we'll see what happens here. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna start dumping her in slowly. I pour her in, I mean. Just do a couple little pieces. I don't see anything yet. It didn't even like fizz up or anything. It just kind of fell in. Let's sprinkle it around, see what happens. Put some back here too. Do you guys see anything yet? They show this on the like packaging, like foaming up. I mean, I see a little bit of foam, but Nothing like intense like they're showing on the commercials and whatnot. But there we see something. We saw a little bit of fluff. Okay, there's a little bit of foaming. Oh, I can see it like bubbling. Do you guys see those bubbles forming there? It is starting to bubble away pretty quickly here. So let's keep going nice and slow. We'll get some around front again. We'll go around this way. Go around back here. Why not? Oop, I went pretty heavy there. This is where most of the problem is, so let's get a whole bunch right there. Alright, that's the packet. As you can see, it is starting to bubble. Wow, okay, it's starting to take off now. Okay, we're going to let this go for a couple minutes and then come back and see, you know, if this thing really foams up like it shows it's going to in the commercial. Okay guys, this is after 30 minutes. I'm not really seeing too much action here. I mean, the foam's starting to subside. It's still bubbling away, but... 
I'm not seeing too much change here. I don't know if this is really going to accomplish anything. All right, we'll let it go for the rest of the time and see what happens. If I happen to walk in and see it foam up anymore, I'll uh, update you guys. All right, guys, so here we are downstairs in my other bathroom. The top toilet actually looks better on this one. I mean, there is plenty of buildup down there, and as you can see on our one little bolt, we actually have some corrosion there. So I'm just going to grab one of these. We're only going to do one up top because the top's not too bad. Wait till you guys see the inside of this toilet. It's 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 bad. All right, I'm going to see what happens when we dump it in a little bit quicker. I'm just going to sprinkle. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle some back here, back there, get some over here. See, it seems to be activating much faster when you dump it in. Not like just one dump, but that was a good sprinkle in my opinion. It seems to be reacting much faster. Same thing though, it's bubbling up. We see those, you can act, you might be able to hear that. It's definitely hissing. So who knows, this, this toilet could actually be a little bit dirtier inside since no one ever uses it. Okay, now uh, let's show you guys the toilet. It, it is gross. Okay, here's the gross toilet. Oh God, look at that guys. That's just all the hard water just sits there and like I said we don't use this toilet so it just it's gross this toilet's from the 90s it's been here literally since we you know, bought the house we're gonna replace it eventually but let's see if we can clean it up it doesn't say that you can dump one of these packets actually into the toilet bowl but I want to see what happens when you do be interesting Sprinkle some in there, see what happens. Eh, it's not really doing too much. There we go, now it's starting to fizz up. Oh man, this one's really taking off, guys. Look at that thing. It's fizzing away. Let's give it a little bit more. Wow, it's really taking off on this toilet. Look at that, guys. It is just expanding like crazy down here. But it, it seems to be doing a lot more on that bottom. Okay, so we're going to let this sit for six hours, and we'll see what it does. Okay, guys, this is the upstairs toilet. I've been checking on this for the past about eight hours. And as you can see in there, we did uh, have a whole lot of the mineral get removed from that one side, but we still got some powder on some stuff, and it never really foamed up like they show in the commercials. So we're going to flush it and see what happens. <laughs> Okay, there you go. Um, you know, it looks a little bit better. It doesn't look amazing, but minerals, it looks like got removed, so it seemed to do an okay job. Let's check the one downstairs. All right, guys, and here's the downstairs toilet after eight hours. I mean, it does look better, but it doesn't look you know, amazing or anything. This one really wasn't that dirty. It looks like it cleaned up slightly. And then the actual toilet, it looks better. Um, it looks like the stuff in the actual water got removed, but as you can see, we still have that ring. So let's let's give her a flush and let's see what happens. All right, guys. So after seeing that, where does Hurricane fall? Hurricane is okay. It's by no means a product that you need to run out and buy right now, but it does seem to do something. It looks like it stirred up all the mineral deposits around the bottom of the tank and got some of them away. And it looks like the inside of the toilet bowl on the downstairs toilet, it is cleaner, but I saw that we do have some stuff sticking there now, as in the salt or minerals that we poured into the toilet to do that cleaning. So, her clean is going for about 15 bucks right now. I don't know if that's such a great bargain because 
it doesn't get everything out and it just seems to stir up what's in the tank and personally it looks like a giant effervescent tablet so could you just get an Alka-Seltzer and do the same thing? Probably. Um, I would I would be curious to see how that works in relation to this and then I don't know if this is actually sanitizing the bowl it says it is but it looked like it was just salt in there to me so I'm wondering if maybe you should just use like an Alka-Seltzer and some Clorox tablets or Vanish whatever your favorite product is all right guys so I'm gonna give this one a 5 out of 10 it's okay I don't really know if it actually works right now we'll see if the tank gets dirtier and maybe we'll buy some more and try and clean it up that's gonna do it for this one guys We'll catch you next time. Have a good night.